everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add health bars to mobs in Minecraft 1.14.4. To do this we're going to be using the Neat Mod. And basically, you can see right here what it does. It adds these health bars over these mobs. The skeleton and the spider have one. In addition to the zombie, the pig there. Every single mob has a health bar. First and foremost though, we do have much of our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server to enjoy and just have fun playing Minecraft with your friends, check out Apex, the first link down below at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the neat mod installed. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is basically the neat mod download page. Once you're here on the right-hand sidebar, you can see Minecraft 1.14.4. Four there, or sorry, Minecraft 1.14, but it works in 1.14.4. But Minecraft 1.14 here, go ahead and click this purple download button under the Minecraft 1.14 next to the version there. It'll then immediately take us off the download page where after a few seconds it will start the download. However, we will need to keep the file if we're on Google Chrome and keep it in the bottom left. As you can see, we have the keep button there. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's opened up in the center of your screen. You'll need to save the file there. Again, keep it in the bottom left in Google Chrome. It should start with neat, say like neat plus on it. And then um, on Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen. Now we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge, which you can also find linked in the description down below. Once you're here, this is actually our in-depth Forge tutorial. So you can go through this tutorial if you, you know, need to get a more in-depth way to set up Forge. However, we are going to be setting it up in this video. Again, though, if you have any problems, this article will usually help you out. Once you're here, click the green download Forge button. This takes us off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure we're on the 1.14 version. As you can see, we aren't. We are on the 1.13.2 version of Forge. So we want to click the plus button right here and then click on 1.14.4. Now, as soon as it says, and if it says by default, MC 1.14.4 there, you're good to go. If it doesn't, click on 1.14 over here and click on 1.14.4. Now, under download recommended, we can click the installer button here. Once we do that, it will go ahead and open up or start the download I should say in the bottom left again we'll need to keep this file and it starts with forge so we're good to keep the file on Mozilla Firefox same thing it's popped in your screen on the screen where you'll need to save it now we go ahead and minimize our browser header desktop we have two things we have the neat mod here and we also have forge if these aren't your desktop no worries they're in your downloads folder you can check out your download folder by clicking on the windows icons in the top left of me bottom left of your screen that little windows icon in the bottom left click on that and then type in downloads right like so then you have this downloads file folder in windows when you click on that you'll find the neat mod and forge in here drag them to your desktop just for ease of use once you're on your desktop we're going to start by installing forge go ahead and right click on it click on open with and then click on java tm platform se binary but what if you don't have java tm platform se binary well no worries we have a solution for you go to the description down below and see how to download java this is our tutorial on how to download java mods or java for minecraft mods and servers we have this in-depth video here we also have this in-depth article it's a very simple three-step process now if you do this and it still doesn't work you're still not able to open with Java you need to run the jar fix here you can find the jar fix also linked in the description down below and this is another very simple three-step tutorial and uh, basically just download the jar fix and run it and you're good to go it's very simple but that is needed to basically make all the jar files work with Java again on your PC Finally though, we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, then click OK. Then it will go ahead and open up the Forge Mod Installer here, where you want to go ahead and click on Install Client, and click OK. And then go through, download, and basically install Forge, and do everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.14.4. Now once it's success, or once it's done, it'll say Successfully Install Client Profile Forge. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. And now we need to install the Neat Mod. To do this, click the little Windows icon against the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, click that little Windows icon in the bottom left, and then go ahead and type in Run, R-U-N. Then you'll have this run application here. When you click on that, it will open up like this basically run app with a little search box text box in it. In this text box, go ahead and type percent sign, app, data, percent sign, percent, app data, percent, and hit OK. Then it will go ahead and open up our roaming folder here. And here you should have a .minecraft folder. And then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? What do I do? Well, don't freak out. Just create a mods folder. So right click, create a new folder. Title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Then take the neat mod that you downloaded, drag it into your mods folder, and boom, you've installed neat in Minecraft 1.14.4. However, we're not done just yet. We still need to make sure we play the Pro Forge profile. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. 
Once we are in the uh, Minecraft launcher, we want to click on the Installations tab, and then we should have a Forge profile. As you can see, there is our Forge profile. However, what if you don't have a Forge profile? What if this isn't here? Well, no worries. Click the plus new up here in the top left of the Installations tab. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server. We have Grief Protected Survival. Absolutely incredible. Two survival servers, Aquatic Survival with a slash shop-based economy, and Medieval Survival, which is our premier survival server with over 25 quests, a player-based economy, player warps, it's incredible. You absolutely love Medieval Survival. On top of that, we have a custom Skyblock server with over 100 players online nearly every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Then you want to click the drop-down box under version here. Then scroll down until you find, basically, Forge, right? So if we scroll down here, we should be able to see Forge. Sometimes it's up here at the top, right? Sometimes it's up here. Sometimes it's all the way down here at the bottom. But um, once you find Forge, you can click on it. Give me just one quick jump cut. So here it was right here at the, it was at the very, very top and I, I just straight up missed it. 100% missed it. So right here it is at the very top. Now there are two versions of Forge here. I'm actually going to go with this one, 28.1.0 because that is the like, stable release, like the latest stable release of Forge, whereas this is the beta release that I was installing to do some testing. So yeah, basically if you want to make sure you have the stable release of Forge, come back over to Forge and see what it says right here. As you can see 28.1.0 is the stable recommended version. So we want to select that over here 28.1.0 then i'm going to change my resolution just so you all will be able to see go ahead and click create now we have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile click the green play button next to it and minecraft 1.14.4 will open up with the neat plus mod or the, the neat mod installed but more importantly than the neat mod it will allow you to have health bars in minecraft 1.14.4 that's the big part right that's what we want we want those health bars and we now have them so let's go ahead, just let everything open up, and then we'll jump into a quick single player world to prove that health bars are there. It could take a second to open up Minecraft whenever you first have like a mod installed or anything like that. Forge, while it is technically considered stable, is still buggy in many ways. So for example, right here, we are gonna go non-responding. Now, I would recommend leaving this for a few minutes to see if it works or doesn't work. However, eventually it'll probably wanna just crash itself. So let's go ahead and just close out of it, as you can see. Java is not responding, close the program, click cancel, whatever, that's fine. It says the game crashed. I'm not too concerned. I'm just gonna restart the game, boom, play right away, even though that crash happened. I know that may seem weird, but for some reason, Forge and Minecraft, they're like that. Minecraft servers sometimes just crash, just because, right? There's, there's an underlying reason, sure, but usually it's not that big of a deal. You can just restart it and it won't crash ever again for that same reason. Same thing with Forge there. As you can see, it is now opening right on up with no problems right into the main menu. So there you go. If you do have any problems, if it locks up, just close out of it and then you're good to go. Now we can launch into the neat mod here, launch into a single player. Then you'll see that the mod is installed. Let's go ahead and load the world up, joining world and boom. I don't think there's any denying that the neat mod is installed. I was doing some testing of it before the video here, as you can see. All these mobs have that, the gas has that, and then on top of that, even stuff like, uh, there's gonna be some like pigs and cows or something around here, right? I mean, it's a forest biome after all. Yeah, there's a cow down here. If we come down here, we'll be able to see that has a health bar and it does decrease as we hit that cow. Even this wolf has a health bar. Everything has a health bar. Health bars for everyone. And there you go. We can also quit here and click on the uh, mods tab on the Minecraft main menu. And basically that will show us that the mod is also installed. So. Boom, there's the neat mod. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Make all kinds of incredible mod tutorials for Minecraft, and be sure to come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Again, we have Greed Protected Survival, a slash shop-based economy server, and a player-based economy server with over 25 quests on our mini survival server. Super unique, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, in addition to our custom Skyblock server that has 100 players online basically every single day. Anyway, play.breakdown craft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.